How's it going guys? Welcome to my, I guess this is like my first vlog. <laughs> I'm at my brother's house right now. I'm dog sitting this little one over here. This is Sage. But yeah, I'm gonna be here for like four days. I'll be here for a while. It's pretty cool. Right next to Jack London Square. This is like my view right now. Pool over there. And then over there, there's the gym. So I asked you guys earlier on Instagram, you guys, would like me to do like a dance AMA. So later on this vlog, I'm going to be answering some questions and hopefully I could give out some pretty helpful advice that you guys can find useful. Since I'm doing some work, I decided to bring my whole setup. I don't have a laptop, but I decided to bring like my whole ass computer. <laughs> so yeah, this is my computer. I guess this is like low key a setup tour. Cute little computer, keyboard, and then there's my little mouse. And um, yeah, I have a pink controller, okay? Do not judge me. This was on sale. I thought it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll go out. But I'm really not trying to eat anything. I'm like really not trying to eat out. I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible. And I like all the food over there at Jack London Square is like so friggin' bad. I don't know, maybe I might just pull a cheat day. The world is my oyster at this point. And then I also have to watch this dog too. I just took her out earlier because she had to take a shit. So yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll be here for a few days and um, yeah. Okay, so a couple of hours have passed already. I had to get ready because I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I'm just running out of food. I'm just running out of all my food. <laughs> but I'm leaving the dog here, okay? The dog's chilling today. I left a pad in the bathroom. The dog apparently knows where to take a shit. Here's a better look at the fit. Dude, I suck. I suck at vlogging, dude, I suck. Excuse me, okay? I am finally back home or my brother's house. <laughs> but the dog's here. I guess she's been staying here the whole time. Let's see if she took a shit. Nope, pad is clean. Clean pad, man. All right, so I'm finally uh, gonna watch Kingdom, dude. It's gonna be exclusive to the Patreon, so if you guys wanna go check it out. I'm really excited, because I've seen Road to Kingdom and I've seen Queendom, and so this is like the third chapter, which is awesome. All right. Okay, so I just finished recording Kingdom. Kingdom was pretty good, man. I just saw the first episode and it definitely has the same vibe as Road to Kingdom and Queendom, but like a lot stronger. So if you guys wanna watch me watch Kingdom, uh, I do have my um, plays on Patreon. So check it out. Just got done doing that. So right now I'm going to downstairs because they have a gym downstairs and I'm gonna get a quick workout in. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I did two and a half miles. I don't really do a lot on days where I'm strength training because I don't want to kill my energy. So I'll just do like a little bit of cardio. I didn't go like full out. I kind of just like took breaks here and there. I got a pretty good sweat. Now I feel pretty warm. Um, this is what we got today. We got a cool little machine, so it's better than nothing. So I'll take it. Don't be so sweet. Tell me what's in your eyes, baby. Red, green, all blue. Welcome to the other side. I keep losing my temper for you. I love it how you think I'm always this cold. Excuse me, It's crazy. Like. Welcome to the other side. I guess every time I finish my workout or before I finish. I always gotta do abs, always get to have a good core. Cause you kind of need that as a dancer. I kind of just like don't skip a day on the abs. <laughs> I think that's about it for me today. You know, this is a pretty cool gym. I mean, it's small, it's a cute little gym. It does the job, so I can't complain. Time to call it a night.
Right now I am making shrimp. I'm sauteing shrimp for tonight, so that's kind of cool. Right over here. It's my first time actually cooking shrimp on the stove top. I don't know if I should be doing it like that, but I am. I wish me luck. I used butter, olive oil, and then I just topped it off with some pepper and salt. So once this is done, um, I'm gonna go make a salad, and it should be good. So, I guess this is my dinner for tonight. So yeah, I, you know, I don't even know if it's a good combination, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like trying out new stuff. So I hope it came out good. I already tasted some. If it doesn't taste too bad, wish me luck. And uh, yeah, that's my dinner. Okay, so I found a spot a little bit outside the apartment complex to answer these like dance, ask me anything questions. I got a lot of good questions. I got a lot of good ones. I'm gonna pick like a few that I felt like uh, stood out and uh, I just got a lot of good questions that I, wanna, that I wanna answer. And some questions I had the answer to, but I can't really like find the words to translate them well. So I'll do the best I can when you have dance ideas floating in your head but can't work on them yet? You know, that's a real good question because I feel like the best ideas or like the best, like the most creative stuff comes out when you're like not dancing or when you're not practicing. It's like always when you're doing your day-to-day -day stuff. I feel like what sucks is like if you don't have like time, like let's say you're in probably like probably a really busy part of the week and you can't really touch that like creative process just yet. Um, for me, when I have like really creative ideas and I can't touch it, I definitely jot it down for sure. And I think also what's important is if you're a visual learner, I definitely create photos or I keep like a small book of like photos. Definitely like a like visual stimulant to help me like understand like that creative idea. So photos for sure, visuals and writing it down. So the next question was if I get burnouts or if I get drained occasionally and the answer is yes I do and um, <laughs> it does suck because it does lead to a pretty bad creativity block but when that does happen I mean I don't really fret because I know that's just my mind telling me that I need to take a break from dance. I think when you as a dancer or just you as a creator in general get to that certain like point of your work ethic I definitely would rely on just falling into your other hobbies like if you have other hobbies please do them or if you have friends hang out with your friends just like take a break as long as you're doing that to help you ensure that whatever your next creative process is you could jump to the next one and like I said it's crazy because when you do get out of that creative block it's always when you're doing your like regular day-to-day -day shit you could be like cleaning you could be going to school it's crazy because you subconsciously pull inspiration from anything it doesn't have to necessarily be like dance you just subconsciously your mind just subconsciously pulls creativity and like ideas from like the most random places so definitely take a break and I think that's what's most important. So the first question was that I seem to be well versed in like dance history. I feel like I still have a lot to like learn, like a lot to learn. I have been dancing for over 10 years but for the most part of my dancing like I didn't really get to learn like the history. It wasn't until I started teaching that's when I started becoming more um, knowledgeable about dance history because obviously if you want to teach it's good that you know the origins of like certain moves and certain styles because I think today we live in a we live in a world where a lot of movement just gets like transitioned from like left to right without knowing like the reason why so I think that's why I've like learned so much in like dance history but I still have a lot to learn if I learned a move and I did it a lot, I've always wondered where that movement came from. So we have YouTube, like there's a lot you could grasp from YouTube, but I feel like that's very important for teachers and choreographers to like know where history came from. I hope that helped. 
One of the questions were a lot of school activities are hip hop and Zumba and how do you make easy and catchy choreo? So that's a great question because I feel like making choreography is hard but making choreography that's like easy to do is even more difficult. I always go by like the like basic three traits of like movement. So the first move is like what's the pathway of dance? For example, if you're moving your arms, are you moving your arms like vertically or horizontally? What makes it more difficult is if you go like diagonally or if you're gonna make rotations, just make a like just make a, either a circle or a half circle. Just things that are legible for an audience to remember. Easy shapes is what's gonna make it easy. That and also the musicality too. It's also great to make moves that go one, two, three, four. But if you wanna switch it up and do something that's like a little bit catchy, make something a little bit more like spicier, you could probably go by the half counts, one and two, three and four. Just like switch it up and that'll make it easier. And last but not least, if you have like lyrics to the song, and I think this is what they do a lot in like K-pop choreo too, but every movement has a like meaning to it. For example, if you're gonna do a song about drinking, you're gonna make a hand gesture about drinking. If you have a song about making squares, you, make, you wanna do a movement about making squares. So like things like that. Definitely those three things will make it easy it is a legible, pathway, not too complex musicality, and then the third one, a movement that translates well with the lyrics of the choreography, if there's lyrics. Just keep it simple, you know, keep it simple, and I hope that helps. And the last question is, this one's really broad, but it's tips for aspiring slash new dancers. I have like hella, I could go make a whole like three hour segment just for <laughs> new dancers, but the big ones that I have for sure is just enjoy it, that's like number one one is just enjoy it especially now I feel like we live in a day and age where everything you do you see dance and that leaves a lot of room for comparison which is not good because comparison is like the villain to like all your happiness as a dancer like your progress comparison is going to kill that so don't compare yourself just enjoy it just enjoy what dance is and how it makes you feel that's number one all right just try new things also the second one is take your time like really really take your time. You never really understand like how long certain things take to get good at. Sometimes you just feel like you're never gonna get good at it just because you're so critical on yourself. Um, so take your time, you know, trust the process. And also if you feel like you could train harder then learn certain things that you could cut out in your life so you could take more time and dance if you feel like you're not progressing fast enough. But other than that, for the most part, you are progressing the way you should be in a healthy way. The last thing you want to do is dislike dance because you're stressing yourself out too much. You don't want your progress to fail because you're stressing yourself out too much. So yeah, take your time. And also that really goes with just enjoying it. So just enjoy what dance is giving you. At the end of the day, it's not a competition. So just appreciate what dance is just as a whole, just as a culture. If it makes you feel good, then do it. And then the last one, I think this one's a little bit more like deep, <laughs> but I, I would definitely say be courageous when it comes to dance. I think for a lot of aspiring dancers, you, fail to identify as a dancer even though you don't see yourself as like good enough the easier you get to identifying yourself as such the easier it is for you to let go of all the fear of anxiety you have from people seeing you as a dancer if, if that makes sense so be courageous and take your time as far as your confidence level if you're not ready to perform if you're not ready to to dance in front of others then don't then don't just like take your time and when you do feel good go for it not every opportunity is going to be handed to you on a silver platter so make sure you identify when you should be courageous i think a lot of dancers we live to perform and when you perform it's definitely scary the first time but i promise you the feeling that you get after is a hundred times way more satisfying than the fear that you receive from it so dance 
please dance and be courageous. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. That's a that's the final question. I hope this helped. Uh, I still have a lot more. There's still a ton of questions that I received. So I think I'm gonna just leave it at that. I hope you guys liked my first vlog. If you have more questions about dance, like I would love to see it in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more content of mine. Um, would really appreciate it. And thank you guys. And if you guys would like to subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Elliot New Village would really help us out for sure. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Bye guys.